Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 71. Today we're going to look at removing all of the WooCommerce ratings um, and reviews from a site. I have a number of clients that don't want them on there um, for whatever reason, and that is fine with me. Now inside WooCommerce there is a setting already to remove the stars. What we're going to do is we're going to piggyback on that setting, and we're, if you choose not to show the stars with your ratings, and that's these right here, the stars, then we can turn off all reviews across the whole site. Let's dive in. The first thing you're going to need to do is create a folder inside your plugins uh, folder called Hide Reviews for WooCommerce, and then create a file called Hide Reviews for WooCommerce, and that's what I have here. And now we need to start our base plugin. That's what I'll paste in. This is our base plugin. It has a plugin header, and then here's the core of it, really. The first thing we want to do is use admin notices hook and we're going to check if WooCommerce is active and if it is not active we're going to turn it off or turn off our plugin and give the user a message. So let's save and test that. We can test that by deactivating WooCommerce. Oh, I went to the settings. Deactivate WooCommerce. You can see our hide reviews for WooCommerce plugin. We'll activate it. And right there it says hide reviews for WooCommerce, expects WooCommerce to be active. This plugin has been deactivated. So let's activate WooCommerce, which will always take us to the splash screen and is dumb. And then we'll activate hide reviews for WooCommerce. Great. So now we have this and it does nothing so far. Let's go to our second chunk of code. So the first thing we're going to do now, or the next thing we're going to do, is deactivate the reviews tab. So if we look at a single product, I'm going to take off this reviews tab so we don't even see it. That's our next bit. And I'm going to paste in the whole construct function. So we're going to use a filter called WooCommerce product tabs. We're going to call our function called kill WC review tabs, reviews tab. And we call that function kill WC reviews tab. And actually does designate that as a public function as well. Great. And like I said, WooCommerce has a setting in there to re disable the ratings. So we're going to get that. It's in the WP options table. So we're going to use get option and we're checking for WooCommerce enable review rating. If it is set to no, so it's not enabled, we're going to unset the reviews item from our array of tabs. Let's test that. We can save. And now we actually are going to go to our WooCommerce settings. And under products, you can see there's enable rating reviews. So we'll disable them and save changes. And you can see our reviews tab is gone. That's great. But we still have a problem. Right here we have recent reviews widget, right? We have the recent reviews widget and we have the top rated. Both of those will still show data. I'm using the sample data from WooCommerce, so this already has ratings and reviews into it. They will still show. In fact, they still show the stars, which is silly to me, but they still show the stars. So we want to disable those so that users can't even put them on. Say you had reviews and you want to disable them later and never see them again. We're going to do that by disabling the widgets. So that's our next step. Now go back over to our code and we'll take and again, I'm going to replace the whole construct function again because it has all of our filters built right into it for me. And we use the widgets init hook. And so widgets init is where you enable widgets or you activate widgets, and register them um, as you build them out. So we're going to get on there and we're going to call our function called kill WC ratings widgets. And we're going to give it a priority of 11. So if there's no priority stated, then the priority is 10. We're going to make it run just after the WooCommerce register widgets. widgets. Again, we're going to check for um, the review setting under WooCommerce enable review rating. And if it is set to no, we are going to unregister the WC widget top rated products and the WC widget recent reviews. So let's save our code. And remember in our settings, you already have it disabled, enable ratings on reviews. We'll refresh. You can see we've lost both of our rated items. So. That's it. We've now actually disabled all, everything to do with ratings in WooCommerce so that the front end user is never going to see any ratings. 
This plugin is available on GitHub called Hide Reviews for WooCommerce. It is free on GitHub. It will remain free on GitHub. Uh, in the coming week or two, I will release a paid version. And the paid version will include uh, user support and it will include uh, automatic upgrades with license keys. Thanks for watching.